Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain very simple MATLAB program and explanation for formation of Z bus matrix using bus building algorithm. Before starting any program, first of all you have to add two lines that is clear all and CLC. What is the expression clear all? Clears the text from the command window. What is CLC? Removes all the variables from the current workspace. Then you have to put a title for a program. This is the display formation of Z bus matrix. Here I am going to explain the Z bus matrix using this power system network. Okay, this power system network consists of two buses and three elements J0.4, J0.4 and J0.6. Two buses, one and two and one reference bus and then enter the input value. N is the input, enter the total number of buses. So how many buses? Number 1 and 2. Two numbers of buses excluding the reference bus. And next, initialize the Z bus matrix by putting 0 for all the elements. Here two buses corresponding to 2 cross 2 Z bus matrix. The order of the Z buses 2 cross 2 and here putting the value 0 for all the elements. So initialization of Z bus matrix. After that, we have to start the program by putting the time value equal to 1. Then you have to put the while loop here. And then again you have to put the Z bus because this Z bus is used for all the cases. And then yes, menu, specify case number new bus to reference buses case number 1, existing bus to new buses case number 2, between existing buses case number 3, existing bus to reference bus case number 4, print is case number 5 and quit is case number 6. Print is in print the value of EZ bus, quit is quit the program that is EZ bus program. So this menu, the menu called is created. The menu card is created in the MATLAB window for all the cases, case number 1, case number 2, case number 3, case number 4, case number 5 and 6. Okay, next is program. So, we just started with switch yes. Switch yes, yes is the menu. Okay, first case number 1. Case number 1 is you have to click on this, new bus to reference bus. And again, this is the power system network. So, new bus is what? 1. And what is the reference bus? This is the reference bus 0. Both are connected by the element J0.4. So, you said B is what? The element connected between 1 and 0. That is J0.4. So, you said bus equal to you said B. And what is the order of the you said bus? It is 1 cross 1. Consists of only 1 element J0.4. And this is completed. And what is the remaining bus? 2 and the reference bus. And here remaining two elements, J0.4 and J0.6. Here, J0.4 is the element that is connected between existing bus 1 and the new bus 2. So, we have to go to the case number 2. Click on the case number 2, existing bus 2, new bus. Next, consider the case number 2. Case number 2 is existing bus to new bus. A is the input in the starting bus number. Existing bus is 1. And what is the new bus? New bus is 2. Is that B input enter the impedance value. The impedance connected between 1 and 2 is J0.4. Then for loop. For I is equal to 1 to N. N is the new bus number 2. When I is equal to N. I is equal to N means 2 n is equal to 2 so i is i is also equal to 2 then only have to find out z bus 2 2 is z bus 1 1 k is 1 plus z b else z bus i is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 1 2 equal to z bus i is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 so z bus 1 2 equal to z bus 1 1 already in the previous case case number 1 we get only one matrix is set 1 1. So is it 1 2 equal to is it 1 1. The same element is copied in the next column. 
and Z21 equal to Z11. So Z21 also equal to Z11. The same for 0.4 is copied in the next row. And we are going to find out the last one. So this is Z22. So Z22 is what? Z11 plus Zb. Z11 is what? Z11 is 0 0.4. And he said 2 to e 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 that is 0 0.8. Now we get the new e set bus matrix in the case number 2. And next case number 3. See two elements are over. J0.4 and J0.4 is over. Only one remaining element is J0.6. So is there any two existing buses? No. So you have to leave this case and directly go to the case number 4. In the case number 4, existing bus 2 is connected to the reference bus. The so case equal to input, enter the old bus. So it is the old bus 2 and enter the impedance value. Impedance value is J0.6. Here we are going to find out M2. M2 is Z bus KK. KK means the Z bus 2 2 plus Z B. Z B is J0.6. What is 2 2 Z bus 2 2? 0 0.8. This added with 0 0.6 we get 1.4. Z M equal to 1 by M2. Put the M2 value here. Z bus of colon comma K. K is equal to old bus. Old bus is 2. So here column element here. Column element is 0 0.4, 0 0.8. And K comma colon. That is, that is the indication of row element. 0 0.4 comma 0 0.8. Then we get Z bus equal to Z bus minus Z term. So what is Z bus? This is the Z bus. And Z term we have calculated using this. That Next calculate Z bus. Z bus is Z bus minus Z term. Here this is the 2 cross 2 Z bus matrix. Z term is already we have calculated using this. So that is also a 2 cross 2 because this is the element, this is the column element 2 cross 1. This is the row element 1 cross 2. Finally we get 2 cross 2 only. So Z bus is Z bus minus Z term. Okay, this is the final matrix Z bus that is calculated from the MATLAB. And then case number 5. Case number 5 print the same EZ bus. And afterwards case number 6 quit the program. After finishing this quit the program. End and then end for the while loop. Next I am going to explain how to simulate the program using MATLAB. First of all clear all. Second CLC. Then display formation of EZ bus matrix. Then input enter the total number of buses. Then Z bus zeros n comma n. Then t is equal to 1. Then y loop starts with t is equal to 1. Then case number 1, case number 2, then case number 3, case number 4, case number 5, then case number 6 is the end program. So this is the program to find out the Z bus matrix. Then run the program. Enter the total number of buses. So the Z bus equal to 2 cross 2 matrix with all the elements are set to 0. Then this is the menu card. In the menu card first click on new bus to reference bus. Then click on the impedance value. What is the impedance value that is 0 0.4. So Z bus is 0 0.4. One of the element in Z bus is available that is 0 0.4. Then existing bus to new bus. What is the starting bus number 1? Ending bus number that is new bus is 2. What is the element that is 0 0.4? Then we get the new Z bus consists of all the element 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. Then case number 3 between existing buses. There is no existing buses available. Only one element is there. The element is connected between existing bus and the reference bus. So click on existing bus to reference bus button. Okay, enter the old bus that is 2 and enter the impedance value 0 0.6 and then we get the final Z bus matrix Z buses 0 0.2857, 0 0.1714, 0 0.1714, 0 0.3429. Then print the same value is printer and quit. The complete program is switched and finally we get the Z bus.
that's all thank you have a nice day